Hey guys, Marsico X here. Now you may notice there's something a little different about me. Since the start of last year, I've been losing weight, and I've lost a lot of it. I've gone down from about 360 pounds down to a rough about 180. I've lost half my body weight. I feel a lot better for it, and I can fit into a lot of nice clothes, which is awesome. Right, next thing. You guys have American Idol, right? Basically, we have something over here called the X Factor. It's our version of it. Before Pop Idol went up to America and became American Idol, we had, we now have X Factor. It's pre it's presented by the same person, Simon Cowell. You'll know him. I applied for the X Factor on a whim, and I thought that hey, you know, I won't get put in. Yeah, you know, no one does really. And then I got a letter from them, and I did. I did. Um, get selected to go up to the O2 Arena, which some people might know in America as the Millennium Dome, which was our celebration to mark the Millennium, which cost a bomb. But thankfully, it's now a very big entertainment district in the middle of London. And I think it's fantastic. However, that's not the point of this. I'm going to tell you roughly what happened on the day. But don't worry, I have pictures. Right, I got up at 5 o'clock in the morning and arrived at the O2 by about half 7. And I have the ticket right here to prove it. At first there weren't that many people there, I was about 5, 6 rows from the front. Hang on, that's not many people auditioning, but within about 20 minutes I realised how wrong I was. Throngs of people there! I think they actually said 7,500 people on the day. After that I started to think it was a little weird because not only did they say that the judges won't be there, okay I could understand that, this was the first round, but their Range Rovers, the cars that they were meant to be arriving in, pulled up, but then we realised that they were just filming it without the actual judges inside, and I thought, dude that's so fake! I mean why don't they do it when the judges are there? I mean they're just whipping up fake hysteria. By about 9 o'clock, they were starting to let people in to what I thought to let them into the O2. We queued up for an hour and a half to join another queue. We were in for another two hours whilst they were doing filming and involving silent cheering. Essentially, just waving your hands in the air and not going, Whoa, yeah! Anyway, the only consolation was that Dermot O'Leary was there and He's alright. He's funny. It involved me standing out in the sun for three and a half hours, you know, getting really tired, and to travel about a hundred meters to get inside the O2 itself. Now inside, it's fantastic. It looks really stunning and I loved it, but I had to go and get my ticket and find my place in the arena. So I got my chair, I got my ticket, I got my number, and then basically the bombshell hit. We weren't going to be seen until the evening and after this I just thought, yeah, screw it, I'm done. So I left. Now don't get me wrong, the O2 is a brilliant place. However, the whole thing was just so staged, it was really... I don't think I wanted it enough. It would mean I'd have to give up a bridging, and I don't want to do that. I love you guys. You may even recognise the symbol here. Let me explain. I play a lot of rock band, and rock band too. And I'm actually quite good as a vocalist. I have an Xbox 360 now, and I've been playing with some friends. And I'm planning to, um enter Team Four Star. Well, I say Team Four Star, it's just me, the actual original member of Team Four Star. And I've got some friends of mine. You know, you'll know them on Xbox as Hosagi, um, Kiss of the Dragon, and uh, ZX. No, ZT, sorry. We've been practicing for the last couple of months, and we're going to be taking part in a tournament at the Movie Comic Media Expo in London on the 23rd and 24th of May. And if any of you guys are going to that at all, well, um, I'm going to be there. And I'm going to be wearing this t-shirt. As you see, it has the voc vocal microphone thing and my name. And also, on the back, you can see the Team Four Star logo. So if any of you British people, or indeed you American people, uh, want to come see me, I will be wearing this. And also... The return of the Masako X headband. Now some people that met me uh, over the last year, the last two expos, will know me for wearing the Masako X headband, so I'll be wearing this and this, so you can't miss me. One last thing, 
<laughs> this probably passed most people, but um, there was a podcast uh, called Watch Out. Uh, it's hosted by Psy Guy, one of the um, uh, one of the uh, bods behind Fireball20XL.com. Go there, really nice web comics. There was an interview with um, it was originally just going to be Little Karibo, but um, he brought me in at the last minute. So basically, it was the first time that me and Little Karibo met. And it was like, what would happen if Little Karibo and Masako X were to meet? What would happen? The answer? Actually, we got on pretty well. Yeah, we're British people. We get on famously. We talk about tea and crumpets and playing cricket. Uh, who am I kidding? I don't drink tea. I've not played cricket for years. And I don't like crumpets. I'm not a British person naturally, so that's um, that's me at the moment. Don't worry, we will be doing episode 25 of Naruto Abridged. We will, don't worry. We're gonna do that. We're on a roll. This be Masako X, signing off. Don't touch that dial.